Hello YouTube. This is a tobacco review on Dunhill's Nightcap. Now recently, I had the chance of giving this product a try over at a friend's place who was trying to give up cigarettes and was trying to go to the pipe as a nice alternative. I suggested this product to him due to the reputation of the high nicotine levels that has been warned about with Dunhill Nightcap. So I jotted down some notes. Not a whole lot. It's more of an impression than anything else. And first of all, the content of Dunhill Nightcap comprises of Latakia, Orientals and Turkish, Perique, and Virginias. When I opened up the can and I looked at it, it was a nice even spread of varying colors. So it didn't look like the tobacco favored any one of these particular ingredients. The cut is a ribbon cut, and the tin that I had, a actual metal tin, at a weight of 1.76 ounces. This struck me as odd. Many of the metal tins that I have personally come across is usually 1.5. So to add an extra quarter ounce or so into a standard looking tin, I was kind of curious how they did that. So when I popped the tin open, it was packed and tight, brick tight much more so than I've come across in other English as well as aromatic tobaccos in metal tins. Now also, when I opened the tin up, you were hit with the standard English blend odor. A uh, bit of an oily, uh, strong tobacco-y type scent. Not exactly pleasing to the nose. But then again, as we know, English blends are meant for the tongue, not the nose. So both of us packed up our pipes and gave this product a try. It was very dry. Not enough to be a deterrent. Because of the dryness, it packed very, very well. And my friend who was just starting this, it packed very nicely for him. It behaved quite well. We then went through the, the char light and everything else and not a big surprise, because of the dryness of this particular tobacco, it lit very well and stayed lit quite reasonably. Now the room note that it was giving off, actually per a normal English blend, not for those who are not pipe or cigarette smokers. It is quite strong and not very appealing. This will not give you points for the wife or girlfriend. Now, the taste of this first came off as a pungenty uh, smoke, a cooking smoke, like you find with, with a steak. But quickly, very quickly, it became quite appealing. And I was surprised. I am not an English type tobacco smoker. And I was rather rapidly getting turned on by this particular blend. Now, the nicotine, the nick hit I was getting out of it, became the deterrent. Because I like to smoke the aromatics, nicotine levels are fairly low, if hardly at all, and this just was rolling my mind. It, it was not something that appealed to me, I did not want it, and thus was my deterrent to this. If it wasn't for that, this English blend just might actually become part of my everyday rotation. But no. Give it a try. See what you think. Uh, make a video up on, on a review or write down something below. And let's all in the pipe community hear what your thoughts are on Dunhill's Nightcap. Until then, keep on smoking.